Back on the interesting roads and off the boring car roads. Welcome to our next chapter of our adventure in Bolivia. We are approaching the northern point of Salado Uni. It's wide open spaces. Are you ready for some interesting uh, landscape Jenny? Yes. July and August in Peru in the driest times and now we are in Bolivia yeah. on the Salad as well on the driest time of the year. And we have to randomly pick tracks. There's there's lots of different tracks. Many options. Yeah, uh, we know in which direction we want to go. Oh, and there's a little bit of traffic. Snow and they go at a quite a little, a little bit faster than we do. Uh, yeah, we can already see the salt, although we're quite far from sort of the uni yet. It's probably another what 30 k's or so, 15 uh, as the cry flies. Yeah, all, all really interesting um, rock formations. We hope to sleep out um, just um, outside the floor today. Big plans for getting up, getting up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little bit chilly in the morning, uh, but we have big plans and mo we are motivated to get up. Um, we visited a beautiful uh, meteor crater on the way here, and I'll show you a little bit of what that looked like from above. It was just a little bit of a taste of things to come. Pink, pink, pink and white and salty water. Hopefully we will see some bird life as well. And we'll take you along. Following the northern border of the Slard heading west through little villages. Um, and we are sort of the faded map. Um, Heading towards the entrance that we think we're going to use, um, and looking for a nice place to walk camp right next to the lake tonight. We still need to stock up on water and make sure that we enter the salar with maximum water, and maximum fuel. Oh, but how far we can travel on the salar? Not far. Yeah, it's, I don't know. May, maybe a hundred. I'm not sure, but I feel we're going to see if we can camp in the middle, camp in the southern border and camp on the eastern border. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see how cold it is before we commit to more than one night. Everybody's been telling us it's too cold, um, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah. First on our mind is lunch. Because we haven't had lunch yet and we started at like 3 o'clock. We've only had some like a very salty boat. As happens on the road in South America, we've run into a desvio. A little bit of a situation. A little bit of a situation. Um, a desvio obra. But it's not a detour like it normally is. Um, the road is actually no. closed temporarily. Um, redoing, redoing the pipes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, so um, we have to look for another solution. We can uh, go onto the salar and buy Maybe we can just sleep there at the entrance. Yeah, but we will rather um, look for a different solution. We don't really need bread and fuel. Um, water would be nice. But yeah, so um, our plans are changing. I'd really like to sleep next to the salar where the water is because I'd like to see reflections. So we're gonna. Maybe uh, we could just sleep there at the park. Yeah. Stop there. Yeah. yeah. Because we still haven't had lunch. We still haven't had lunch and it's half an hour later. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, yes, 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 a soccer field. Maybe we can just park there and um, yeah, next to the soccer field, on next to the road out. And then we found a perfect home for the night on a little grassy patch right next to the salar with lots of flamingos waiting right in front of us. And we spent a lovely afternoon slowly watching the flamingos. And a very good morning, everybody. It's a momentous occasion in the life of Fearless on Four Wheels team where we were up too early. We did our best and pushed beyond boundaries and um, decided we're going to be up at the edge of Salar, the Uyuni, for the sunrise. We've been up about an hour and a half, we've even had coffee and the sun is still not up. So our calculations was way off, but we live and we learn. So tomorrow we can sleep a bit later after we head in to the big, big white of the Salar de Uni. But now, because we had coffee and it was too early, we're going to have some tea while we wait for the sun to peak over the horizon of there. Well, we think it should be over there. But yeah, let's see what the day brings. We hope it's something great. Karin is back in bed doing her Spanish classes, the earliest she's ever done classes. How are you handling the cold, honey? I'm going under the blanket. Again? Yes. So let's make some tea. Let's get snuggly for the last few minutes and um, then we'll be up and about and we'll take you along. We have some visitors and we are now making tea. While we, because we were up so early. And then we have the resident llamas and vicuñas coming to, I presume, drink the very salty water. But they definitely come to poo. Yeah. That we can see. We are at the poo spot yeah. for llama. And we are heading into the wide open expanse of the white salt of this lar um, to prove the flat earth is wrong as you can clearly see the curvature of um, the earth here. This is a freaky place to visit but an even more freaky place to drive on and we were quite apprehensive of the condition of the road on the salt but it ended up being rock hard as we were here in the perfect time very dry very hard although we could see salt where there were potholes as even here, on the salty roads, there were potholes and water was observed at about 15 centimeters into the salt. But it was difficult to keep your mind on the road with these white, wide expanses and a crazy optical illusion with no discernible horizon. So the first day on this lar, we just spent soaking up the atmosphere being quite conscious of not getting um, snow blind as the glare from the sun is quite extreme. Trying our hand at optical illusion pictures. We even tried our hand at optical illusion videos, but that had mixed success. But it was a fun day in the snow, I mean in the salt. We then headed off for Isla Inca Wasi, or the Inca House Island, right in the middle of Salar, where we wanted to find our home for the night. And we wanted to try and get up for a sunrise the next morning. It is an island filled with cactuses and doesn't look like there is much life, but there is quite a bit of bird life and we even spotted some cats there. It was the perfect place to sleep for the night with the shadows of the island slowly growing as the sun set behind us. It would be our last night in the middle of the Salar, so we wanted to make it worth it. The next day we headed off to the eastern part 
of Salar or the mirrors where everybody gathers at sunset to take mirror pictures, as you can guess from the name. It's a very touristy in the, uh, in the late afternoon, but after the crowds are gone, we had a very quiet night. And this would also be our last night on the Salar. We again took the opportunity to take some interesting mirror pictures as we said goodbye. Because the next day we had a date in the town of Uyuni for another great adventure that was coming our way. For the first time in a long time we would be doing a convoy as we were meeting up with the Combi Chronicles to take on probably our most challenging road so far in South America. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.